Earth Day has made more and more people aware of the changing climate. We like to think of San Diego as always 70 and sunny, but that's changing. ABC 10 News meteorologist Megan Perry takes us along our coastlines with National Weather Service meteorologist Alex Tardy to talk about the small changes we're seeing each year that are now adding up. If I could describe climate change in one word, it would be ominous. Progressing. Devastating. Extreme above the natural variability. Every 10 years, new climate normals are released. The trend in San Diego, warmer and drier, with the new normals released in 2021. Everywhere in the United States, except for a small portion of the northern plains, was warmer than their prior 30-year averages. The wet years of 2018 and 2019, which got us out of drought, are a distant memory. We had a late October storm that was like, okay, this winter's gonna be amazing. We had a December series of storms in atmospheric rivers, amazing. We're good, right? Well, the movie didn't end there. Now two thirds of the state has seen their driest period from January to March. That's extreme. Those are huge months to miss. We have a short winter in California, November to March. If we're lucky, April. That's when we have to get all the rain and snow for the farmers, agriculture, residents and visitors. And if we don't. So that means water supply shortage. That means fire weather. We've already had two of the worst acreage wise, worst active fire seasons in California history in 2020 and 2021. Couple that with the record hot years, six of the last 10 summers have been top 10 hottest. That whole cycle of drought is vicious. Dry periods are drier, longer, more severe. Wet periods are wetter, more severe, but less of them. Being a coastal community, sea level rise is another concern. It's a slow process that takes years, largely from losing massive amounts of ice melting at our North Pole that is already at historically low levels. Just one foot is going to make a massive difference on the average sea level. Now we're talking, you know, in 20, 30, 40 years, we're talking two, three feet. Warmer oceans don't just mean sea level rise. It means more humid summers and stronger atmospheric rivers. 2018, 2019, and 2020 saw record-setting ocean water temperatures here. La Jolla Scripps, where we touched 80 degrees each summer. 80 degrees! Um, you know, if you're in Miami, you're like rolling your eyes. But that's significant for here. Get to Megan about this humidity. It's going to be another humid one today. I went in depth in 2018 looking at when the summer started getting more humid. Since 2013, we've seen a spike in humidity during our summer months. And again last summer. Warmer ocean waters like we've been seeing since 2013, peaking in 2018. The ocean, the land, the atmosphere all work together. And when the atmosphere warms, you add more moisture, which adds more energy. When you have more energy in the ocean, you're potentially going to have stronger storms, atmospheric rivers, hurricanes. But it doesn't promise that you'll be wetter because at the same time, overall, we're having longer droughts, more severe droughts, repeated droughts. There is hope, but it's up to us to make a change. Each person has to contribute in some way. Everything we do or don't do affects the natural cycle. So when we litter or waste or aren't conscious of what's around us, each one of us, it adds up. And it's not just about us. It's about future generations. Looking for ways to better, you know, improve the atmosphere, the ocean, because it all is, it's all where we live. So we have to. There's no choice. Climate change is all about extremes. Worse droughts, worse floods, and living along the coast here in San Diego, we also have to worry about sea level rise. But there are little things that you can do every day to help slow the impacts of climate change, like picking up a piece of trash. In Torrey Pines, I'm ABC 10 News meteorologist Megan Perry.